It's been a while. It's been a while, don't DMCA me. If you haven't heard about what would probably be hence known as Black Saturday, well, it's been a tough month and a tough uh, couple of weeks. I've mostly been playing Diablo 4 Season 2, watching movies and working on my RPG. Couldn't summon up the brain power for anything more than that. Our renovation of the apartment after the flood is on hold because the contractor needs to fix the wall panels. And now we had the winter clock change so everything is about as bad as it could be without full-on depression. That's why I haven't been present here. But doing this is a sort of easy way for me to force myself to keep going, so here we go. This is the video where I criticize Steam game pages for being awful marketing pitches, while also applauding pages that seem to be doing it right, or games that just look good and fun. Sorry if this offends anyone, but I don't like sex games, or soft porn, anything else, visual novels, anything that is not accessible in English, big fish, hidden object, adventure games, trend games, asset flips, or direct ripoffs of other games with no actual effort put in for distinction, JRPGs, software, it's just not what I'm here for, Text-only games, jigsaw games, really super anime games, VR games, I don't have a rig, but I will note if they look really cool. Things I can't really comment more than a couple of words on, like sports games, and everything that looks like no effort that polish was put in. So, sorry, but those are automatic disqualifications and they won't show up. Let's try and find something good. Also, this might take a bit longer than usual because there's a lot of backlog to catch up on and there's something I want to show you at the end. The Lotus Holidays is an exploration puzzle walking simulator noir. There is no gameplay trailer and the uh, pictures don't look very interesting and kind of like a visual novel. Sea of Survivors actually looks nice. Not a bullet hell, a bullet heaven, dark fantasy, dark fantasy, action. The concept of a ship is nice, it forces you to just keep on moving forward, but it looks like still all the trappings of a survivor-like. Positive. 75% rating, so not bad. Might want to check it out. It's five bucks on early access. Quadrilla is about high scores. Casual arcade puzzle match three, two and a half D. I don't see the two and a half D part, but the reorganizing and matching doesn't look really like match three, more like different Tetris. It looks nice, except it looks like a phone game. Lair of Torment is an indie horror game with first person puzzles, horror, psychological horror, puzzle 3D logic. First of all, name your trailers. Other than that, looks kind of basic, and also very dark. Turret Rampage is what exactly? Looks like Tapper if you're a turret. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there are a lot of games that can be described as sort of like Tapper, but, but different trappings. Pandemic Train. Why does that feel like a trend game? 63% reviews. Looks like a survival game, but on a train? When you have to build the train and equip it. Actually, it looks interesting. I'm gonna keep an eye on this, even though it's mixed rating. Oh, you can play the demo. Hero Survival. Another action roguelite. Oh, they're still using roguelite. Bullet Hell. That's actually a bullet heaven or an auto shooter. Looks like Brotato. Looks a lot like Brotato. But actually looks better, more interesting, and varied than Brotato. 50% reviews. You can play the demo. Hank, action adventure shooter FPS 3D robots. Evil teddy bear. Looks like a very basic shooter. But you're playing what? A plastic soldier? Looks weird. Stormy Islands. The Stormy Islands. Survival adventure sandbox open world. So another survival game, except this one really doesn't look good. And you're holding a seagull by the neck. What the hell is wrong with the water? That's water, right? That's a fish. Yeah, really not doing it for me. Spellbounders 2, Early Access Action Roguelike Spelling Puzzle. It's a spelling game. Were you backstab? I think you're making walls and using them to attack your opponent. Okay. Starfend Early Access Strategy Tower Defense in 3D. That's interesting. Not really sure what's going on here, though. It's moving too much. Don't move too much. And also, cut your freaking videos. Behind the Barrier Early Access Survival Horror Demons Medieval. The developer and publisher is Sinner G. That's a good one. Don't show your main menu, that's not a teaser image. Also, there isn't really any gameplay, and the UI sucks. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, the second Hot Wheels game, 71%. It looks nice, I mean, Hot Wheels is fun, it's a fun racing game. I don't know if I have the capacity or time for it, there are other games I want to play. Conquest Manager, first of all, the UI is horrible. Early Access Card Battler Trading Card Game looks like Monopoly with blue fireballs. Yeah, it's really hard to understand what's going on. 
Chaos on Wheels, I always love a good vehicular combat game. This one has a lot of Death Track vibes. Dialogue takes too long to get into actual interesting stuff. Oh, it's open, not on track. Hmm, I think. Doesn't look half bad. 68%. Play the demo. Scene Investigators. Investigation, Mystery, Puzzle, Logic, Crime. 73%. Not really my kind of game, but in its genre? Looks good. Builderman. Automation, base building, crafting, city builder. Travel to this world to harvest materials and build a factory to teleport items back home. 54%. Looks like Factorio for kids. Looks cute, but I think we need a bit more. Core Defense. Tower defense game with roguelike elements. Strategy, roguelite, management. Interesting concepts, nice pixel graphics, but clicking on chest looks tedious. It's cheap and so far 57%. Actually, maybe later. Midnight Acres Exploration FPS Survival Farming Sim PVE Okay, so another survival game with fishing but the movement I think is too low FPS because it's giving me a headache Looks like someone is trying to be Redneck Valheim Why are you showing us your YouTube page? Why are you showing us your Steam page? Don't use YouTube videos inside of Steam pages It doesn't look good Shell Runner Extraction Shooter Cyberpunk Loot PVE 3D Basically a top-down shooter, but it looks nice. There's just too much screen shake. Ow. Citizens on Mars. City builder, colony sim, sandbox, economy. No gameplay footage, but they say it's a chill game. Looks nice. It's cheap and not enough reviews. Bloodbound, early access action vampire FPS. Looks like very cheap models and a very basic shooter. Ah, the new Ark Survival game. 25,000 reviews, 56%. Damn. It's supposed to be some kind of remaster in Unreal Engine 5. So it looks good, but no other promises. Why do people who are supposed to be experienced keep doing this? Show gameplay. Lost Princess Winterland. Why did I keep this? Walking Simulator. Life Sim. Collectathon. At least there's gameplay, but it's kind of stuttery and nothing is going on. Please do proper capture without the taskbar. More dinosaur games. Mission Dino Camp. Adventure action dinosaurs single player 3D. Well, it's important that you're in 3D. Is this supposed to be Dinosaur Nathan Drake or building or I don't know what's going on. It's a dinosaur game. Demonic Episode 4 player first person online co-op horror. You play as content creators? What the hell? Doesn't look very good either. West Coast Drive Low Rider Simulator. Racing Sports Indie Driving. This just seems stupid. Peaks of Your Climbing Simulator. Not VR, at least. By the way, this kind of jump can kill you. This game looks weird. This should definitely not be in first person. Cryotel Space Horror Pixel Graphics Sci Fi Retro. So extremely dark. Furious Farm Total Rip Out. World's first combine harvester racing game. Fling tires at your opponents and set fields ablaze? Why? Aren't you supposed to be collecting grain or something? Looks interesting, but also very weird. Finish social deduction puzzle logic exploration. What the hell does that mean? There's a bomb test. There was a hover car, a UFO, and 18th century cannons. The Sirena expedition with no anti-aliasing. Horror Platformer Underwater Atmospheric No Under Pressure is an early access simulation casual sandbox VR power wash simulator ripoff And it doesn't look like it's doing anything different Except you're cleaning a football while playing football Billy's Nightmare Action roguelike adventure that's trying to be Binding of Isaac Or Enter the Gungeon Could be fun gameplay but definitely doesn't look good Oberak Prelude Action RPG, Life Sim, Martial Arts, Multiplayer. Those are a lot of worlds. Oh, and it's jittery as all hell. And it looks like it's animating on twos or maybe threes. Oh no. Mini Star Survivor. Action Casual Roguelite Shooter. Which is basically one dimensional. How is this fun? Intruders. Survival Horror Time Management. Dark. The, at least they're admitting in advance that it's dark. Jump and Brawl. 
action party game 2D fighter pixel graphics. Is someone trying to be jump and bump and tower fall at the same time? Chase survivors is post-apocalyptic action roguelike auto shooter, I think. At least somewhat of an auto shooter. Just doesn't look good. Five Nights No Escape is a Five Nights at Freddy's tribute. I would say ripoff. Also very very dark and very very ripoff. RPG Alchemy Casual God Game Sandbox Puzzle Solitaire What are we doing exactly? I don't get it. The Rings of Powder Strategy 4X Roguelite RTS Someone is trying to be the next Dungeon Keeper? Actually looks kinda nice. The viewing angle is bad. I don't see any zoom options or cutaways. Well, I guess that's a zoom. 75%? Only 11 bucks. And they are showing a lot of gameplay, so I'll give them that. But I think both trailers are the same. And there's not a lot of variety in pictures. Mining Max. Co-op, online, multiplayer. Kind of looks like Terraria? Or Wall World, but underground? Also, I don't really understand what we're actually supposed to be doing here. Flywheel. Action casual, auto battler, beat em up. Drone combat? Yeah, game engine footage, but where is the actual gameplay? Looks nice, but currently looks very, very repetitive. Okay, this one I, looks cool and I saved it. Currently it's 76%, but not a lot of reviews. And it looks like you are playing a planetary sandbox, kind of a god game. Oh, it's called Terratoy, by the way. Single player relaxing building, cute. And honestly, yeah, it does look cute. And they're showing a lot of gameplay. It looks nice, kind of pixely. What this is missing is another thing you should stress is make sure you show what the goal of the game is. If I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, your audience shrinks by a lot. Cannibal Island Survival. 68% survival adventure action crafting loot. Uh, some people like loot. Look, survival games are cool and all, but right now your competitors are Rust, Valheim, Grounded, V Rising. So you have to do at least something different to stand out, and this doesn't. Starheim is a free-to-play spaceship piloting MMO set in a universe based on Norse mythology. Well, I think we can guess that from the name. Again, what are we actually doing? Where are the other players? Why is the UI so horrible? And it looks like the space sim is really 2D, which is not good. Rogue Glass is an early access puzzle minimalist collectathon. I saved it because it looks nice, and it looks kind of like those games like Orb of Creation. So I'm guessing it's kind of a deck building digital card game with some puzzle elements. Drift Wave is a casual drifting game with synthwave inspired aesthetic. Well, I love synthwave, and I also love jumping cars. Arcade casual relaxing 80s. I think I recognize the music, but the game itself doesn't look very interesting. I would rather just listen to synthwave music. Okay, Buried is an interesting concept. Short exploration immersive sim. No, this is not. A, is it an immersive sim? It doesn't look like an immersive sim. But it is an interesting concept. It's also so interesting that your head is hovering above your chest. 73%. Not bad. And it's very cheap. Weir Wolves without a space. Looks like a very basic bullet heaven. So no. Viking Chef Feast Frenzy. Cozy co-op cooking adventure in a Norse realm. Wholesome medieval. But it doesn't look good and it's very stuttery. Bile. Action roguelike single player shooter. And it really doesn't look good. Wanted Shadows. Action roguelike or roguelite. Bullet Heaven. Yeah, also looks very basic. Godzilla Voxel from Toho Games. In case you don't know, Toho owns the Godzilla franchise in Japan. They make all the Godzilla movies. Some of them are actually really good, but a Godzilla game is a first for me. It kind of looks like Into the Breach. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh no, did you rip off? You're supposed to be better than this. Well, I guess I'm giving this one the boot. Extreme Off-Road Racing Simulation Adventure Off-Road. Looks very arcadey and very badly implemented. Also, off-world games shouldn't be held on a track. Musical vibes. Casual music rhythm sports realistic. A new dance game. Yeah, so I guess if you want DDR or Strictly Come Dancing or whatever on your PC, here's one. 
And I guess it uses your phone camera? But it definitely doesn't look good. Goliath is a pre-alpha sci-fi multiplayer shooter from 3 feet from gold games. No one cares about your name unless you're Rockstar or Bethesda or whatever. Also looks like a very basic shooter. And this is what I wanted to show you. It is now Bullet Heaven Fest on Steam. So come here for all your Bullet Heaven needs. So let's see if there are any interesting new Bullet Heaven games. Survivors of the Dawn. Run-based roguelike Bullet Heaven where you create strategic weapon and item synergies to survive the ceaseless holds. Sounds like every Vampire Survivors inspired game. Except this one looks really, really limited without any interesting terrain. Missiles Away, early access arena shooter action FPS. That doesn't look like a bullet heaven at all. Impact, action roguelike bullet hell. You mean bullet heaven. Also looks very basic and constrained. Ocelot Sunrise, early access action roguelike shooter RPG. It looks okay and the trailer is pretty good. But other than that, I don't see something very interesting. Slime 3K Rise Against Despot. Action roguelike, bullet hell, roguelite, roguelite. Roguelite? Roguelite. Roguelite? Roguelite. Actually, I kind of hate the premise. Three of Ashes is a 2D bullet heaven game set in a dark post-apocalyptic fantasy world. Who cares about your world? With base building. And shooting axes out of your penis. And flames out of your butt. Looks like very conflicting art styles. Append, destroy friends, strangers, or bots in this online multiplayer arena shooter. So it's Slither IO, in a way? Looks weird. Odin Fall is a Viking themed roguelite twin stick shooter. Also, not really a bullet heaven, but looks like someone is definitely taking inspiration from Nuclear Throne. Okay, that's gonna be it for now. I hope it wasn't too long for you. The next one is probably gonna be long too because there's still a backlog, but I'll see you there. Thank you very much for watching. Stay good. Have fun.